Hi guys, it's your girl Raquel. Today is June 1st, 2020. It is, whoo, been such a long break from YouTube and I've literally just been dealing with the COVID, trying to get through the day with my family. Um, this video today is going to be a one year update video of my hysterectomy, well partial hysterectomy. I've gotten a couple questions from you ladies. Thank you guys so much for reaching out to me. Um, a lot of you guys don't understand. Um, welcome to my channel. I'm Raquel. Um, I struggled with polycystic ovarian syndrome, endometriosis, and a lot of other problems that caused my body to fail me. And what I mean by that is, I, you guys already know I struggled with infertility. I struggled with... Uh, staying pregnant and all of that stuff you guys have been on my journey and all of that uh you guys knew that i had to have the partial hysterectomy due to uh the placenta creta and endometriosis that happened after i had my daughter vivian my last baby um you guys know with her that i had to have the tubal ligation and where they cut tied and burned my tubes and i still ended up with two tubal pregnancies after that um after that the doctor had to really go in there and do the partial hysterectomy which was very sad for me like everybody thought that I was just done having kids that I had already struggled so I had already I should already be blessed with the three kids I have yes I am very blessed yes I am very happy but do I get sad yes I do get sad I'm sad because I still don't feel like a, a whole complete woman, okay? Now, what I mean by that is, like, I struggled with infertility. My body not only failed me, but it failed my husband. I've lost 10 children. We have struggled with 10 losses to have the three kids we have. I was at my grandma's house yesterday for her birthday, and, like, everyone's all, like, asking me, when are you going to have one more kid? Like, don't you want another baby? Guys, I want you to know, like, when you personally ask questions like that, when you already know, like, this family member has already dealt with so many losses. And I haven't seen this side of my family in a while, so I, I, I understand why she asked the question. And, um... But honestly, like, it took me back. It took me back to, like, when everyone first started asking me and my husband when we were going to have kids. Um, honestly, guys, this whole year with my partial hysterectomy has been a whirlwind of emotions. I have felt anger. I have felt sadness. I have felt disappointment. I have felt um, an, a longing, an emptiness. Uh... I did want a big family. I, I, I really did want the, the, the four to six kids like my mom and my grandmother. And God just didn't have that in the plans for me. So when people ask me those questions, when are you going to have more kids? It kind of does throw a person back because you already know how much we struggled the first time, how many losses we've gone through. And guys, I was only 33 years old when I had to have a partial hysterectomy. And I know for most, like, women that struggle with endometriosis and polycystic ovarian syndrome, like, that is longer than most women get to keep their uteruses. Um, normally, women with polycystic ovarian syndrome and endometriosis, they have hysterectomies or tubal ligations, like, 23, 27, some as young as 19. Not because they choose to, but because their body fails them to where they have to. I'm Catholic. It was not my choice to want to get a tubal ligation. It was not my choice to get a partial hysterectomy. It was medically required of me to do it. Now, a year later, I feel sad because my body is not the same. I struggle with the hormone imbalance still. Um, my doctor told me that I would put on 20 to 25 pounds in the year that I've had my partial hysterectomy. Even with my good eating and working out, I've gained that weight. He told me it was going to happen because of the hormone imbalance. And then with already having polycystic ovarian syndrome, 
And endometriosis, it's really hard for me to lose weight and very easy for me to gain it. And my body just started to gain weight. Um, I've been losing it. I'm back down, guys, so you guys can see. I am back down on the scale so you guys can see. You guys, I hadn't been on a live or anything like that because I was getting really up there in my weight. I was almost back at 190, guys. I was almost back at 190 with the poly with with having the partial hysterectomy. Um, right now, uh, I've been dealing with a little bit of jealousy because. I literally have my older cousin who is 37 years old. She's pregnant with twins right now. And she has five beautiful babies. Um, the jealousy comes in because um, you start feeling like, why wasn't I good enough to have that many children? Like, my cousin had her first baby when she was 16, and, you know, God has a different plan for everybody, but I felt like I was married, I I was set in my life, and it didn't come easy for me. Fertility was an uphill battle, like, an uphill battle. And just lately, I've been struggling with a lot of emotional battles, like with the jealousy. I want another child, and, and I can't have that, and I already experienced so much grief with struggling with infertility, and then knowing that I can't have another child because, hey, uh, they took my uterus away. Um, I've been praying about it, and I've been asking my husband if we can maybe become foster parents or adopt a child, even the surrogate. Um, us being Catholic, like, he's really, like, he wants to have his own children, but he just says that he's good with the three we have, and sometimes